many associate snow with coldness and demise. Weathering waves have been out for about a week now. And if you've been playing since launch, you likely already unlocked the subject of today's video from the gift of thawing frost event. The Luna of Weathering Waves. San Hua. Unlike her PGR counterpart, San Hua is a Glaciosword user that enjoys covering the battlefield in ice formations, before stylishly detonating them with her Ice Burst ability. Her basic attack has five sequences, and will grant one stack of clarity every time the fifth sequence hits a target. Her heavy attack is the core of her forte, and has two variations. Her standard variant allows her to perform a very flashy sword throw, dealing Glacio damage to the locked-on target. This attack can be weave into itself seamlessly, but will consume a fair bit of stamina. To perform the second variant, simply hold down the attack input until Sanhua's forte bar starts to behave like a Rhythm Games beat mechanic. Releasing the attack input in the Frostbite area will trigger her Ice Burst skill, which briefly stops time and detonate all nearby ice constructs, dealing Glacio damage to the surrounding targets. In addition, the skill can be primed while another animation plays, and damage from the Ice Burst is considered as resonant skill damage. The Frostbite area of her Forte gauge can be a bit difficult to hit, but that's where her Clarity of Mind skill comes in. With each stack of Clarity she gains, the Frostbite area is expended making it much easier to hit. Her Mid-Air attack and her Dodge counter are fairly standard and have no intrinsic effects. Her resonance skill, Eternal Frost, sends out a frigid air current, which creates an ice prism in the targeted area, and grants her one stack of clarity. Her resonance, Liberation Glacial Gaze, deals massive ice damage to the surrounding targets, leaving behind a glacier, and grants her two stacks of clarity. Her intro skill, Freezing Thorns, deals ice damage to the surrounding targets, leaving behind an ice thorn in the targeted area, and grants her one stack of clarity while the outro skill Silver Snow increases the basic attack damage of the next Resonator who takes the field by 38% for 14 seconds. Her first passive condensation will increase the damage dealt by her resonance skill by 20% for eight seconds after casting her intro skill. Her second passive avalanche will increase the damage dealt by her ice burst skill, which is the perfect cast heavy attack by 20% for eight seconds after the fifth sequence of the basic attack hits. Similar to Yang Yang, San Hua will be at her strongest within the first eight seconds after taking the field, thanks to her condensation passive. She builds her concerto extremely quickly, making her a very efficient burst DPS and support. When playing San Hua, make a habit out of using three basic attacks after triggering her intro skill. Doing so will grant you a small but crucial amount of concerto, one stack of clarity, and more importantly, it will increase the damage dealt by Ice Burst skill by 20% thanks to our passive. With that in mind, here are some of the combos available to San Hua. If San Hua is the first to take the field, our goal is simply to activate our outro skill as quickly as possible. To do this, use the following combo. Full rotation of her basic attack, skill, heavy attack, liberation, heavy attack, echo skill, outro, if she's coming in via her intro skill, use the following combo. Three basic attacks, liberation, heavy attack, skill, heavy attack, echo skill, outro. If you're in a rush, you can rush the ice detonations by casting all of them at once. This does mean the last heavy attack won't have any skill issue stacks to help you though. Three basic attacks, liberation, skill, heavy attack, heavy attack, echo skill, outro. Once you get comfortable with her playstyle, you can start experimenting with swap canceling. This works very well with Calcharo, if you have him. To do this, simply create a construct with your intro skill, your resonance skill, or your liberation. Swap to another character and perform an action. As the animation for said action is playing swap back to San Hua and use Ice Burst. But before the skill actually deploys, swap characters again. 
and perform another action on that character. Swap back to San Hua and just repeat the cycle as much as you want. The more lengthy the other character's animations, the better. So Encore and Calchero are really good for this. What do I think of you? Your smile. It looks warm. San Hua have some of the most goaded wave bands you'll ever see on a character. I won't go over them, but I'll briefly show them on screen. Just getting your hands on sequence one is a big help, making it a little easier to build her. When it comes to weapon, the Emerald of Genesis is currently the best sword in the game. It has a very high base attack, crit rate substat, a energy recharge passive, and a stackable attack buff. And it can be yours free off charge at Union level 45, should you choose to go for it. Commando of Conviction is another weapon that can be obtained for free from your Ranger gift box, and it is the second best option for San Hua. This weapon goes all in on attack with a very easy to trigger passive, synergizing very well with her quick swap playstyle. Both Lunar Cutter and Lumen Gloss are serviceable option, and Sword of Night being a pretty good three star placeholder. Since San Hua is a Glacio Resonator, the best in slot for DPS is going to be the five piece Freezing Frost with the Myriad as our main echo. The two piece grants a 10% increase to Glacio damage and the full set will grant up to an additional 30% boost to basic attack and heavy attack damage. The Myriad will freeze enemies on hit and increase the current character's Glacio and Resonance skill damage by up to 12%. Alternatively, you can run the Bellborn Geo Shalone it will provide a shield and damage mitigation as well as a 10% buff to on-field resonator. If you can't put together a full set, you can run two-piece lingering tunes and two-piece freezing frost as a placeholder. For support Sanhua, we want the five-piece moonlit clouds with the impermanence heron as our main echo. The heron grants us 10 resonance energy and boosts the damage dealt by the next resonator who takes the field by 12%. The two-piece Moonlit Clouds increase energy region by 10%, and the full set grants a 22.5% attack boost to the on-field resonator after the outrow skill is cast. Currently, the best Sanhua comps are Sanhua Kalsharo, Sanhua Encore, Sanhua Lingyang, Sanhua Rover, with either Verena or Baiji as the third. Basically, any team where the main DPS is going to be predominantly using basic attacks. And that concludes our Sanhua guide. I just got myself a Danjin, so maybe she will be the next character to get a guide, since the game refused to give me Kalkaro. And so, until we meet again, friends. Imitation! <laughs> Let me be your blade. Tempest! Let the winds roar! <laughs> Stay behind me. Like... Death. 